Hello. My name is Jeff Lee, and I'm with a company called Omniscience Mobile. And I want to talk to you a minute about some, some opportunities to use mobile technologies in the clinical research realm. So we're stepping away from NIH and CDC and federally funded into more commercially funded, but real powerful opportunities to use mobile technologies. And I want to show you a live example. So my background is in mobile technology. For about a decade, I was running three different companies that were among the early providers of mobile technology and consumer-facing programs. A lot of stuff outside of health, some of the more frivolous things like American Idol voting for an Idol candidate, and maybe some of the less frivolous voting for Barack Obama back in 2007, 2008, learned a lot about how people use their phones. Got interested in starting a, a company focused on health. Didn't like reimbursement and regulatory uncertainties. So immediately said, forget that, clinical research. Let's use technology in clinical research. Omniscious Mobile founded in 2010. Have, have really grown nicely, um, responsibly, profitably since then. We're providing mobile phone-based solutions to clinical research subjects in commercially funded studies. We work largely with contract research organizations, large ones here like Quintiles, uh, Icon, Parcel, and a number of others who bring us to commercial sponsors, and you can submit in your logos here. So one example of our work is using mobile technology in patient recruitment. So many research studies are blessed because they can find their subjects, they come walking in the door, they're already talking to those primary investigators, but in many cases, they're hard to find. And so you have to actually go find, you have to actually advertise. Here's an ad, a TV spot for a pediatric acne study, and you can see, you can call and talk to somebody in person, or you can text to learn more about the study. Show a couple examples. This is a CD outcome study for a weight loss drug. Um, and you can see that the keyword there is light. Anyone who wants to lose a few pounds. Next. This is a very dark print ad for asthma study from Beringer Engelheim. Text asthma. And I'll show you one of these live examples. Uh, depression study in the UK. And this is an example that we pulled out of a local paper here in DC. So I'm going to show, do like a big show thing. If you go to the next slide, and if we mouse over, we mouse over that bit there, you should see the playlist. Yeah, so this is, uh, oh, sorry, over here. There, so, so this is imagine, imagine a cardiac study. Get it? Asks you to text heart to learn more about the study. You text heart as long as it's running. Screen for eligibility based on the inclusion and exclusion criteria of the study. This question is asking you for uh, gender, then age, and this is going to do three questions. The third question being zip code. Let's make sure you're in range of a study site. We usually do more like seven or eight, or actually now up to 11 questions. So then. So in sort of big show mode, I've got one that I'm almost done with. And now I'm going to answer the third question, zip code. So what we're going to do is, this person who's texting in gets a message back, says, great, you're eligible. You may be contacted by a member of the study team within a certain period of time. Now, this is the study site. The study site's going to get a call and says, hey, someone's interested in your study. Hello? Feedback, maliciousness. 
But then you take taken the study site and you put them on the phone with a person who started off by texting, they've given a lot of information about themselves, now they're pre-screen, and now they're talking to someone who can move them forward in the process. So that's an example of mobile phone technologies and clinical research, and uh, happy to tell you more about results from that in the Q&A.